let's edit a wedding. With the new filter pixel AI editing system, we can easily edit this wedding about 700 raw images from a wedding in a few minutes. It works super simple. It works with the Be Creative AI preset system that is trained by FilterPixel. And with the FilterPixel plugin, you can edit all your weddings in less than 20 or 30 minutes. Of course, you have to crop something, you have to fine tune something, but you save hours of editing time. So let's edit. We're in my Lightroom now and I've selected 728 soak raw images from my Canon R6 camera. We shoot this wedding a few months ago. Uh, we shoot a lot with daylight, a little bit off camera flash and a lot of sunlight. We had a lot of harsh sunlight on this wedding. Uh, so my raw files are always average. I should always average. So I can go up with the shadows, I can go down with the shadows, but I also can up with the highlights and I also can go down with the highlights. So a mainstream wedding with a lot of moments, a little bit preparation, preparation of the groom, but also preparation of the bride. Small moments with about a selection about 700 images. The wedding venue and the wedding was outside and you can see harsh sunlight but you can see we control the highlights so we have an, an average raw file and that's very important for my Be Creative preset so you can go in any direction you want with the editing. So let's check uh, some other images. Also very average, a little bit highlight in the hair there. And normally the editing time for a wedding like this with 700 photos and a few off camera flash Creative photos take about eight to 10 hours. But with the new FilterPixel AI plugin, I can do that editing in about two hours. For FilterPixel, you need about 20 minutes with about 700 images. But after that 700 images, they are not perfectly edited. You have to fine tune those images a little bit and you have to fine tune your, crop, your cropping. But you save about six to eight hours editing time by using the AI filter pixel plugin. I also shoot a few off camera flash pictures. This one, a little bit rim light. Also in the wine stop with a little bit colored backlight and a little bit softbox light. Not super creative, but a little bit creative. We only had 20 minutes time for the wedding shoot. So that was very short. Normally we have about two hours. So normally we have about 800 photos on an average wedding. We also shoot a little bit with soft light from the Pro Photo click soft box from the side. So, but it's important to know that those uh, 10 photos, those 10 photos, I will edit them with filter pixel, but after the first edit, 
I'll separate them apart from this uh, selection and I will edit those files with the special Be Creative AI presets. You can find them on my Patreon, in the link in my bio on my socials or on my website arnodebruin.online. Let's edit with filter pixel AI editing. First you have to select all the images. So now all the images are selected and you choose from file. I'm in the library mode. So choose from file, plugin extras, edit with filter pixel. Then we have a little bit pop-up screen and you have to click OK. And now we have to wait for the filter pixel plugin pop up and he is reading all the metadata from all those images. You can see that at the left here. It's saving the metadata. You can see how fast this operations are. You see now, now we're in the pop-up and you can see the Be Creative AI edit here. That's my personal profile, but I will share this profile later with a filter pixel. And you have, you can also choose from public profiles you can see here some two, two profiles in my system. But let's go back to my own preset. And you can see the BeCreative AI Edit. That's a special preset. I've developed that for <coughs> my filter pixel system. It's from the BeCreative preset uh, series. But, but it's the import uh, raw soak preset. So let's select this. And now you can find the start editing button at the bottom. The green start editing button. So let's hit that button. And now you can see that filter pixel is editing my images. And now we have to wait a few minutes and then we can see a countdown. So let's wait a few moments, read a book, listen to music or watch a YouTube or watch my Patreon in the meantime. So I'll be back. Oh, look, we have to wait 24 minutes and 60 seconds. So we have to wait. See you back in about 25 minutes. We didn't have to wait 25 minutes or 30 minutes, but only 11 minutes and 59 seconds. You can see it here. So it's faster than it was supposed. Sometimes the server is a little bit more spaced and faster than other times. But normally it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to edit about 700 and 800 photos. But it's not so busy now, so it took only 11 minutes and 59 seconds. But you don't see the editing in my Lightroom yet. That's correct. First you have to push the quit and review button here. So it can go to Lightroom. And we have to wait 
a few moments and you can see a few arrows here but let's wait we have to wait till all the arrows are displayed Normally I hit that button twice. All right, okay. Cancel. Yeah, you can wait till all those XML buttons are on your screen. Uh, but normally I hit that button <laughs> in a few seconds. So hit one of those arrow buttons in your small images here like that and don't use this one but use the import settings from disk button use this one and now it's reading all the xmp metadata from filter pixel And now you, you see, all those images are changing. When you look at my screen, you see all those images are changing in the first Be Creative AI edit. So the highlights, the white balance are a little bit corrected. And, they, and you can see here, it's average. All those images are almost ready. Now, of course you have to wait because Lightroom is not so fast with the previews, but there is no more bar here, so you can go to the first images. So let's hit this one like that. And now we are going to the develop mode. And you can see this image is almost ready. Let's go to the next one. And if you Compare that with the other one. Let's go back. You can see every image is corrected. So it's not only one preset, but it's corrected in an average way on all your images. So all your images are almost perfect. You see that? White balance is correct. The exposure, the highlights, the shadows, the whites and the blacks, everything is almost correct. It was a little bit warm environment here with warm tones. So you also create warm tones on all the details and the skin, but you can see everything is in control. And the only thing we have to do is create a better crop. And that's all. Let's go back to the grid view. Like that. Let's find those outside images here. A little bit red skin tone. That's because there's a lot of sunlight. And if there's sunlight on skin tone, it's a little bit red. But I have a special fix for that. Let's check that. Yes, the end changes. I created a 
skin tone. Let's hit this skin tone. Bang. And now we have a perfect skin tone. So sometimes when the sun is hitting uh, your bride or groom or uh, all the people at the wedding, you can create a special preset for creating a better skin tone. And that for me is that the B Creative Skin Tone minus red. Let's check another one. Also a little bit red. And with that, we create a little bit, a little bit less red in the skin tones. So it's perfect. Stop wasting your time with editing in Lightroom only. I will share a link in this video and in this post so you can try out Filter Pixel AI Edit for free. The only thing you have to do is create an account, upload about 5000 edited raw files in your own style and within 24 hours you will receive your own personal AI profile. And with that personal AI profile you can save a lot of time. Head over to filterpixel.com where you can sign up and get started now.